pulled up to our spot where we're gonna be shed hunting today. Just kind of glassing over some country, figuring out where we want to go. And Dylan was glassing over here to the east of me, and he yells, "He's got a brownie over here!" And we're not even 20 freaking yards away from the razor. I was glassing for deer. Right here. <laughs> Flashing. There was a shed down here. I didn't even know. <laughs> Killing right here. We're like, oh, where should we shed on? <laughs> we figured out where we're gonna shed. <laughs> we're gonna start right here. Heck yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. Right off the side of the road. <laughs> That's awesome. Heck yeah. Well, just glass me up what I think is the find of the year. That thing looks like it is sitting in the top of that tree. And it's a long ways away. And this storm just blew in. I better make my way over there. Try to tough out this storm. Alrighty guys, I was on top of that knoll over there and I was watching a herd of elk right into that clearing right there and right next to the forward of the trail but I sat there and watched them elk feed out of there and up and over the top of this ridge and I glassed over here and there lays the shed. It's an old one. It's the first time I've ever seen, personally I've seen a deer shed in the top of a dead cedar tree. That was pretty freaking sweet. All mossy. Tree's kind of grown with it. It's pretty freaking sweet. Big old three. Pull them out of there. Maybe. Older than dirt, but that is cool looking. I'm probably gonna keep that forever. But we'll go check up with Dylan. It says he's got a white, so let's go see what he found. Alrighty, guys, just walking around trying to find Dylan and the. I don't know if you can see it, but right there, you can just see the tip of an antler. And I'm on my way to what I think is a shed over here underneath the tree. So, but this one's on the way, so let's check it out. Wow, this thing looks goofy. Wow, this thing is goofy. That is freaking sweet. <laughs> it's almost like a whitetail shed looking. Heck yeah. Oh look. I've always had a superstition. That every time I find a balloon, I don't find sheds. I see everybody else that finds balloons and picks up sheds, but there's a few balloons in that tree. I guess that superstition is no longer. I have found a lot of balloons today and in the past I've always found balloons and usually don't find sheds but today it worked out heck yeah all right let's pick him up heck yeah that is not a bad shed at all hard white still brown on the one side that is a cool buck that's really not that old of a buck. I bet that thing is going to be a freaking tank. If he already isn't. Heck yeah. Hopefully we can meet up with Dylan. I can hear him yelling, but 
I don't see him yet. So just hiking over to what I thought was the shed. Turns out it is the shed. It's kind of under some snow, some older ones. Heck yeah. I ain't gonna complain about that. Pretty freaking sweet. At least we're getting into them. It's about three o'clock and just barely getting into sheds. But hopefully we get into some more. I well, just met up with Dylan. Looks like he's got a pretty good one on his back. Heck yeah. How can we get in some more on this ridge? Alrighty guys, that's a wrap for the day. Ended up picking up five. Dylan got the quality brown and the big one. You got that cool little one to get close yeah. up. Yeah. Got that future giant. And that cool old mossy one I found in the top of the tree. Not a bad day for not finding the first shed till what, noon? Oh, that's what we got out here. Yeah. See you guys next time. So you want to be a shed hunter? That's what we've walked since noon. And it's six, so it's pretty much six, or it's seven, yeah. seven now. So pretty much hour and a half or six and a half hours